Hi everyone, it's Celeste and welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about cosplay! I teach you tutorials on how to make the outfit, how to do the makeup, so you can become the character of your dreams. Today is all about my Black Friday deals. It's been a hot minute since I've shown you a haul video and I'm really excited to show you what I got on Black Friday 2019. So remember, this is the last Black Friday of the decade! Cool, so I went to two different stores, one of them being Walmart and the other being Joann's. Say <sighs> Joann's. So I just wanted to first and foremost say thank you for all coming to my channel. Make sure to click that red button down below to subscribe to become a member of my sewing pin cushion called YouTube. Yee! So first things first, uh, let's just go over everything that we got and I'll kind of just tell you what I got, where I got, what it is, and how much savings I got. It's really important that I stress all of these things because cosplaying is not cheap. There's a lot of sales and at Joann's you can see this mega list of savings and how much stuff we bought. I was able to apply tons and tons of coupons to this. Overall total savings was $251.31 using the extra discounts on Black Friday, using the 25% off coupon and a lot of other coupons such as 40% off and $5 off. So that actually saved me a lot of money and it makes me really happy. Two of the things that I'm not including in this video are the hand soaps. We already started using some of the hand soaps which are pumpkin scented. I love the soaps at Joann's. They're really inexpensive. They're only a dollar and it's pretty amazing. So we also got 25% off of that. So one of the things that I'm super excited to do off camera is a project where you use gemstones to create a picture. It's like a paint by numbers thing. And this one is going to be Starry Night by Van Gogh. They provide you with all of the little crystals here. So I'm excited and it's like a little peel off thing and then you just peel it off and then do your little thingy. I'm excited. Uh, I've never done this before. If you guys want a review on it, let me know with a comment down below. I made sure to grab tons and tons of notions. So there was like a sale on zippers. So I grabbed a few different zippers that I have for a few projects coming up. This one, I just really wanted this one, okay? Like, don't at me. <laughs> but this is a closed metallic zipper bottom. This one is a sports zipper. I think I'm using this for I don't remember. And then this one is a special project that is going to be used with my husband. When working on all of the KDA videos, while working on all of the KDA videos, I realized that it's super, super, super duper important to have gold bias tape. So there was a sale of buy four notions and then you get three for free. So we got a lot. <laughs> so one of the biggest things that I made sure to buy on my trip because I need this is a loop turner. I've always been using chopsticks, knitting needles, and everything else like that. This will help me get to the smaller, 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 tiny tubes such as, you know, spaghetti straps. I think this is going to be really useful. I cannot believe I've went so long without one of these. I'm, I listened to you guys in the comments and I'm going to be working on it and I got this feather boa from Joann's. I made sure to have it inside so it doesn't stain anything else. Um, but yeah, I got a very special purple feather boa and you guys, thank you for commenting on my videos and letting me know what you want to see. This is going to be for regular KDA Evelyn, so expect to see that on my channel soon as well. Time for the exciting part of my video. The fabric! I got this Christmas fabric. I'm thinking of doing a very cute Christmas dress for me to have for Christmas events. I really like the idea of having this star pattern. It says like Noel, Noel something, Noel du Poulain. I really like the idea that it has the music lines and then like the gold shines really through and it's stars and use like little snowflakes. It's not super Christmas, it's just more winter time and winter time correlates to Christmas, but it seems more winter time to me. I got three yards of this one. Oh my God. So my husband 
love this material. They did not have a lot of this left. This one is the Genevieve Damask uh, brocade fabric. I'm going to turn this into a nice vest for my husband and I've been meaning to do more men's clothes on my channel so for all those men sewers out there or tailors as you would like um, I plan on using this for him and making him a very nice vest for his special occasions or potentially turning this into a jacket. We got all of the fabric in here and it was 2.5 yards. Next up, I got this Yaya Han fabric mermaid oil slick. Yeah, so this is the oil slick fabric. I got one and a half yards of this. And of course, I've been talking about this for a long time. My jacket never came in for, ooh. Just mentioned I'm going to be redoing KDA Evelyn. This is for KDA Akali's jacket. I do want to finish off this year strong with finishing with all the KDA skins on my channel. So I've been listening. It just took a long time for me to get this material and I've had problems in the past. So now I have it and we will have this on my channel as soon as I finish making it. So this one I got one and a half yards. One of the things that is definitely off season but is very me all the time is this Halloween fabric and I was so excited to get this. They did not have a lot of this one left and as soon as other people started coming into Joann's, they started grabbing up all the Halloween fabric. And so I knew that it was a good idea to grab this material as soon as I saw it. So I did grab it. It was also 50% off on top of the price. It was like $9, so it was like $4.50. Like $4 then I got extra detail, like stuff off of it. I got two and a half yards of this because that's what was on the bolt and I just took all of it. So expect to see a very fancy style dress that I have planned for this. I'm really excited. I love the bats motif. I love the tree motif. And to me, it's very interesting that it's kind of gradiented. So I guess I'm telling you all my future plans. <laughs> Another thing that I really want to try to do before the end of this year is make my idea of an ice fawn. I love the idea of having like frozen crystal reindeer antlers and I think it would be really cool if I'm able to pull that off. Okay, so this is a sparkle white mesh. I got a yard of half of this and I want to make some kind of like ice deer with this material. So we also got Yaya Han's four-way stretch pleather material. Holy cow, this is what I'm going to be using for my husband's um, cosplay and my cosplay of KDA Akali. I'm so shocked at how good this material is. Like, you can work really hard with this and it is not screwing up at all. This is really nice. I'm really excited to use this. So this is the four-way pleather. So we got this and we got two yards of this. Perfect. We also got the other Yaya Han material, four-way matte solid stretch. Now with this, we got, so, you know, there we go. It's, you know, it's matte solid and it is very flat. I'm really excited to be using any of Yaya Han's materials because like, now that I'm touching it, the quality is so thick. I got a lot of this white cotton knit fabric and this is so soft. This is basically t-shirt material. I think it'd be really cool to make a nice robe out of this or something else. It's plain white and it's stretchy and it feels amazing. I use this for Bowser's neckerchief for Bowser Jr. And I highly recommend if you don't know what to make sometimes, go ahead and grab this and just play with it. It doesn't fr- So next we got this different kind of satin. It's a little bit stronger and when I mean stronger, it's more finely woven with more fibers. This is also a dark blue that we're using for my husband's materials. So that's about that. Next up, we got some new Fisker scissors. I already started using these for some other things. So we went to Walmart because we needed swimsuits. We forgot bringing swimsuits to Miami for Thanksgiving. So that's a little unfortunate, but we got some of the deals early. So one of the deals is my new Apple watch. Yay. One of the biggest things that I needed was a embroidery hoop. I don't need a big one. I'm a very small person. Anything bigger than this, I definitely don't think I can use. This is a natural bamboo and it was very cheap and expensive and I was, I'm going to be using this for now on. If I had this during one of my other costuming days, this would have been a godsend. Speaking of embroidery, I actually got these new craft needles. So these craft needles are really nice. They help with embroidery, quilting, tapestry, needle, like candle wicking, apparently. It's kind of weird. And then milliner, 
and then tapestries and then cross stitching. So it's really nice to have a wide variety of needles for other things other than just sewing sewing. These are more hobby needles and I highly recommend getting your own little case of hobby needles if you're a cosplayer. You're going to be needing different kinds of needles for different kinds of things. And speaking of different kinds of things, I also got a packet of, oops, I kind of, I'm using one already, but I got a packet of special beading needles. Beading needles are so different from sewing needles. It'll save you time and it's so much easier to use than a regular sewing needle. If you're using seed beads for a project, you want to be using these. These are very thin, tiny, and they are invisible to the eye if you lose them. Do not lose these. Of course, what would I be without my beautiful E6000 glue? E6000 glue, I use all the time. Make sure to always get transparent. I had the mistake of using a white one time and I had to recover everything with clear. It was very painful. Because I have so many projects that require gold, I decided to get gold buttons this time. I wish I had all of these for my Cruel Tepes cosplay. It's only off by two buttons, but so be it. Uh, I think this is a really nice to have, just in case. I have multiple other colors, but gold buttons like these are hard to come by here in Denmark. I actually am a huge fan of this tiny container. Um, I believe this is also Driscoll's. I'm not a thousand percent sure, but these have hook and eyes, the belt pants hook and eyes, and then they have snaps ranging in different sizes. I use this all the time. I highly recommend getting this for yourself. It stays organized. Like if I have the top here and I need it here, I can change it or I can t if I use up one entire section, I can take off the bottom and like not use it. It's very nice for storing and then later you can use this for beading, sequins, other things, every other small things. I highly recommend getting one of these for your own sewing cabinet. That is the end of my Black Friday haul. Let me know in a comment down below what was your favorite material that I got. Of course, not all of it is just sewing materials. Like, I'm really excited to be using this gem project here and doing that on my own free time and having fun. I hope you guys had a really good Black Friday. Let me know with a comment down below what your Black Friday was about. Did you buy anything? It's okay if you didn't, sometimes it's better to save your money. But for me, going back to the United States, it was really nice so I can get some materials and things that I need. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out some of my other videos listed around here. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below, down beneath, clicking that red button. And thanks so much for watching. Remember to stay inspired, be creative, and I will see you in a future video. Bye!